the first lady. Busted a move in the name of fitness. We talked to the fitness coach behind the dance that is getting kids off the couch. Let's move. Last month, first lady Michelle Obama kicked off her Let's Move campaign in the fight against obesity. Joining me now this morning is Robert Ferguson, a nutritional expert known nationally. He was recently appointed to a presidential task force on obesity. Yes. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Well, it's always good to be in uh, Memphis. In Memphis. You're <laughs> traveling the country right now doing the work of the president. What exactly are you doing? Well, what I'm doing is traveling around the country and basically meeting people where they are mm -hmm. and finding out like what type of food do people love and they don't want to give up. Show them how to eat those foods like Memphis barbecue yes. and reduce your waistline at the same time. So again, we're meeting people where they are. So we're looking at them psychologically and then create a program that's going to work for people culturally. Gotcha. Have you found anything yet in Memphis? Have you had a chance? I love Memphis. Yeah. <laughs> if it's not the music that gets you going, it's the yeah. food that's going to get you going. So they actually go hand in hand, you know, really? mood and food, food and mood. Yes. So with a little bit of blues or some country or some jazz, you name it, uh, and the right type of attitude, then anything is possible. It's kind of like the saying that what you share with me, that once you get your mind right, yeah. then you can get your body tight. So a lot of it does begin with getting our mindset in the right place. Is that the biggest obstacle? People just don't believe they can do it or it's just, oh gosh, this is too hard. I'm just meant to look this way. Oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all about how we look at ourselves individually and a lot of that is shaped based on our environment. And that's why I needed to come to Memphis, yes. everybody, <laughs> and to find out what people like locally. Uh -huh. And then let's tailor a program for the people locally so that they don't have to walk away from their gumbo. Mm -hmm. And they can still enjoy some of the great foods that I ate last night. Yes. <laughs> How are folks going to reap the benefits of your program? Well, they're going to reap the benefits because, one, culturally everybody can be successful. Uh -huh. So once you learn how to make food work for you based on where you are, even economically. So that means mm -hmm. if you want fast food, believe it or not, you can eat that. You just learn to eat it in a way that's going to keep your blood sugar levels in a place where you maximize fat burning. And that's what it's all about. No more diets. Diets over. Okay. It's a change of lifestyle. And you've um, put a lot of that into your book. Oh, and we 100%. have it up there on your screen. Yeah, the entire book is based on getting your mind right first and then getting on the pathway to being successful. So over a 21-day period, what happens is every day, every day, you're putting in some time and energy, daily devotions, et cetera, to get your mind in a place with the right plan, and then nothing can stop you. So again, everybody can be as lean and as healthy as they want, and it doesn't mean you have to give up the foods that you love. Now, this is all linked to a documentary, correct? Yes, 100%. We're doing a documentary right now called Obesity on trial. Okay. That means you tell me why you're overweight or you can't lose the weight and then what happens is we take it to trial. It's kind of like a Judge Judy meets the biggest <laughs> loser. And Man, there's, that's And there's brutal. a trial. That's right. Yeah. In the end, there's going to be a verdict. Really? And what most happens is that people find out that if they take responsibility for where they are, right, and then begin making progress from there, you can't blame soda. You can't blame fast food. Those aren't the problems for why we're overweight. The problem has something to do with many, many other things. I agree. So it's just a matter of let's take it to trial, let's find out the truth, and then let's be free, Robert, diet free. Robert Ferguson, I have been there. <laughs> I can tell you it's a long road, but it's definitely worth it. Check out his book. You can find it anywhere online, yeah. Amazon. Amazon, my website, dietfreelife.com. No more diets. Bow to it. No more. You don't want to live that way. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate <laughs> it. Same. We'll let you roam around the country now.